Okay, this is how to play Midnight's Another Day by Brian Wilson. And it starts out like this. And I'll show that in two, I'll show one hand after another. Right hand, you're gonna start out on a B flat, D flat, G flat. Hit that three times. Fourth time, you're gonna switch to this chord. That's an A flat, D flat, F. Hit that once. Then you're gonna keep your thumb on the A flat and just add a D flat with it, or no, an E flat with it once, and then a D flat with it once. So, so far, this is what it sounds like. Then hit the whole chord again, and hit the first chord, and go back and forth. Now while you're playing that, the left hand is going to play down in this octave, but I'll show it up here because I think the camera picks it up better. Uh, e flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, and end on a G flat. Whew. So all together, this is what it sounds like. Repeat. Then you're going to go back and forth between these again. And when you play this one, in the left hand play a G, or no, an A flat octave. And when you play this one, add a B flat octave. We start the song. That's uh, an A. In the left hand it's an A octave, right hand it's an A, D flat, E. Lost my way, the sun grew dim. Sun grew dim is going to be left hand staying on that A, right hand is going to be an A, D, G flat. Sun grew dim, stepped over grace. Stepped over grace? You're going to play this, the first chord again, but you're going to add a A again, or an A flat to it, up here. And left hand staying on that A. Stepped over grace, and stood in sin. Stood in sin, you're going back to this D. Took the dive but couldn't swim. Took the... Left hand's gonna play a B octave, right hand's a B, D, G flat. Took the dive butt. Dive butt is uh, E, D flat, A in the right hand's left hand. You're gonna put a D flat octave with it. So it's. Took the dive butt. is a G octave in the left hand, right hand is a D, G, B. Couldn't swim. Swim, just move your left hand up to an A octave, right hand is going to play a D, G flat, A. Then you're going to go down to this D that you played, or no, you didn't play this one yet. A regular straight D, D octave in the left hand, right hand is an A, D, G flat. Uh, without, flag without, you're going to play this A in the right hand with a D flat octave again, the wind, a flag without the wind, you're going to go down to this B octave in the left hand, right hand B, D, G flat, and there's a transitional chord, I love that one. It's a, uh, you're just going to play this, but you're going to add an A, and the left hand is going to be an E octave, and then repeat. When there's no morning, without you, there's only darkness the whole day through.
these voices, uh, you're just gonna hit an A, D flat, E in the right hand, left hand, instead of doing an octave, you're gonna hit an A and an E. And you're just gonna hold it and sing. So it's all these voices. Second chord just add a G here. All these voices. All these memories. Made me feel is a D octave in the left hand, right hand is a G flat A D. Oh, made me feel like stone. Stone is an E octave in the left hand, right hand is a B E A flat. And you can play around with that a little bit to fill it in. And then repeat, but add rhythm and a little soul when you, if you're gonna sing it. So it's uh. to this B octave in the left hand, right hand's a B, D, G flat, like we've been playing. But there's a, there's a kind of important part there. From this B uh, in the left hand, you're gonna hit, uh, you're gonna work your way down and hit an A, A flat, and then a G flat. And when you hit the G flat, hit an A, D flat E in the right hand. So it's lost in the, lost in the, uh, pardon my singing, lost in the dark. dark. is going to be just a B chord, B in the left hand, B, E flat, G flat in the right hand. No shades of gray. That's going to be an F octave in the left hand, right hand is a A, C, E. this transitional chord again with an E in the left hand, B, D, G flat, A. And then repeat, going back to that A with A in the right hand with a G flat octave in the right in the left hand. Until I The thing about this song is you have to learn to play it twice in order to play it all the way through because it changes keys and all the keys are going to move up one even though it's the same pattern it's just up one so when you play an A move all the keys up and this is what you're going to be playing now so I'll do that in the next video.